This is the plaintiff, Carrie Jo. She says she pawned some jewelry at the defendant's pawn shop, paid the finance charge each month, and when she went to retrieve her belongings, the defendant tells her he can't find them. Can't find them? How dare he lose her valuable jewelry she entrusted to his care? He refuses to make good on her things, and she's here in the name of the law, suing for the $5,000 she's now out. These are the defendants, David and Cindy. David says he has no idea what happened to the plaintiff's stuff. In all the years they've been in business, this has never happened. The plaintiff only pawned her stuff for one month, then came back for it. So that's a little weird. Bottom line, they aren't responsible for theft or loss. But to be nice, they offered her the value of her jewelry based on its weight, which came out to 200 bucks. Nothing near the five grand she's trying to extort from them today. They're accused of losing it. All parties. Please use your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff pawned her jewelry, and now the pawn shop can't find the stuff. But the defendant says, it's all a mystery, but they're not exactly saying what happened. It's the case of, I'm not your pawn. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. Okay, Carrie Jo, you're suing their company, David and Cindy's Pawn Company, for $5,000 for losing your stuff. Tell me about it. Yes, um, I pawned some electronics and some jewelry at their shop. Um, I left it there and went back and paid the finance charge for several months. When I went to pick it back up, they were able to locate the two electronic items, a, uh, a laptop computer and a digital screen projector. They were able to locate that, but they couldn't locate my jewelry. Okay. So what jewelry was missing? Um, I have a list. I, uh, it was uh, an engagement ring, a wedding ring, an anniversary ring. Um, an engagement style ring, which is just like an engagement ring, a pearl ring. Um, okay, I see your yeah. list, a peridot ring. Mm -hmm. Is that how you pronounce that word? Peridot. Peridot. So. Pearl earrings. Go to, do you have your receipt from when you pawned this stuff? I don't have that one. Okay, can I see it from you? Sure. What day did you pawn it? On February 12th, I believe. Of 2016? Yes. Okay, one laptop Shoshiba, which isn't in question, one projector. And then it says jewelry. Yes. One Tiffany bracelet and charm, one Tiffany chain with charm, one silver ring, one jewelry. I don't know what that means. No. What does one jewelry describe? I wasn't there. I didn't write this up. But well, you're here. So you're I the only I'm guy here. I can ask. Okay. So what does that mean? He Are those separate the carrot, items? The carrot and the weight of the jewelry, but it's six rings. A bracelet and a chain and charm. And a, uh, a set of earrings. How long I, have you been in business? Oh. This pawn shop, five years, but he owned one previous. Okay. And you work there too? I do. Okay. Are you two married? No. Are, are you two an item or we just work together? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to get pers Oh, well, oh gosh, wait, she's looking at him. All right, never mind. Didn't mean to go there. Didn't mean oh. to go there. All right. <laughs> um, do you take pictures of the items when they get pawned? Yes. We do. Where are the pictures of these items? I don't know. I, I have no pictures. Unfortunately, no. somebody else was covering for us. And I have uh, no jewelry. Yeah. You got no jewelry. You got no pictures. And You've got no explanation. But you want to give her just like the, you want to get out of this by giving her like just the weight of gold. No, well, as I, though she was trying to sell it desperately to you, as opposed to that you lost her jewelry. I gave her the same catalog right here. Mm -hmm. And I told her, look in here, look at the weights, because the rings are like one, two penny weights a piece. Look at rings similar to it, and we'll purchase them, because we get like 75% off the price. Oh, I know, it's a good deal for you. Sales. Right, but she no, didn't well, like anything. Right? She didn't pick something out from there. I never got the catalog back. I never even heard from her after Where's this. the catalog? It's at my house. Um, you, you never responded to any of my phone calls unless I got you on the phone or I came to your shop. You never Okay, talk once, to me, not him. Sorry, you never once reached out to me. Well, not me. About, I didn't, you didn't reach out to he, me. He did not. never <laughs> reached out to me once about any of this. I had to he keep showing up. He just started ignoring up. you, but he wants his book back now. I had to keep showing up at the shop or calling repeatedly to try to get a hold Tell of me them. about these pieces of jewelry. Do you have receipts for them? I only have a receipt for one. Okay, um, which is which one? Which is the engagement style ring I described it as. It's it's an engagement ring, but I didn't. I bought it for myself. It wasn't an 
from a a man. <laughs> Good um, for you. All right. All so right, let it, me it see a, that. There was an original price on the top, but the price that I paid because it was on sale is is listed within the receipt. Okay. And you don't have. Uh, how do you get the estimated costs? That I did that off the internet. So that's why I yeah, said. Yeah, but how, how are you going to do that? Yeah, yeah, right. I just looked for pictures. Like I do have pictures of these items were pawned at another shop. These aren't the. So they were pawned. I labeled them, um, at a shop like a year before that. Where'd you get those pictures? From that pawn shop. Because they take pictures. They took pictures. Yeah. And it also has the projector as well in the picture. Yeah, let me see that. Um, the two big ones. How much money did you get for pawning all these items? I think the total I got that day was like uh, 200 and something. 300 I'm, bucks? Yeah, it wasn't much. I'm not what good did at you so desperately need the 300 bucks for I was running you? my own business and it wasn't doing well and I needed yeah. to pay rent and I had yeah. just recently had a disability so Which of these rings is the one that was 1900 and something dollars? Um the F. F. What's your game plan here? What's your defense? So if the pawn shop can't find it, can't come up with an explanation. Are they responsible? Yeah, I mean, if you're a business and you took something into your possession, I think you're responsible for Fair it. Fair enough. What do you say? Quickly. Um, definitely. It's their job to keep track of it, and they fail at the job. Well said. Going inside the courtroom. My Cindy's looking at you wondering no, well, whether you're an item, number one, and number two, <laughs> what your defense is. <laughs> I offered to make good on this, Your Honor. Yeah, but you offered to make good the cheap way. Hey, um, pick something out of my catalog because I get 75%. No, we I mean, had, no, I was still... She gonna, says she had a call, you call, you call, and then she finally just decided to sue you. That's not true. Okay. So how do you propose to make good? I, I, I told her, pick stuff out of my showcase. She doesn't want stuff out of your... Out of the book. What, did you, what was your I offer to her? But I mean, even, even her list, and uh, just stuff on this list that's not... On the Pong list, like she's got other stuff that's, she added more stuff to it. Okay, tell me how that happened. Show me because I don't I, know what happened. See, well, I'll tell you, you're supposed to know because what's supposed to happen is what? You're supposed to take a picture, you're supposed to have it clearly identified. The identity on the picture that you take has to have the tag on it already. You're supposed to have the cross reference. You're supposed to have a lot of things that you don't have, right? We, we do that what do you all do? Time. Huh? We do it all the time. I wasn't what? there. Yeah. Well, then maybe your big sin is leaving it in the hands of someone who not only didn't know what they were doing because you didn't teach them or you picked the wrong person, but also may have taken the stuff because now we can't find it. And you have you searched all over? Yes, I have. I ripped the place apart. We yeah. moved. And then we then. moved across so the street. And I've been through everything. And I, and I did it piece by piece. Because we never lost nothing, ever, ever, ever. This is the very first time. And it had to happen because we, we have pictures of everything. And I looked through the cameras, I through the pictures, and I couldn't figure out where's the picture. So unless my guy left it on the counter and somebody else took it, and that's it happened real fast. And he probably thought he put it away, but uh, gold chain necklace with diamond, irreplaceable, given as a gift from my father to my mother when I was born. Money clip, irreplaceable. It was my grandfather's. Don't pawn it. I, I agree. What'd you get for that? Ten bucks? Uh, yeah, exactly. It, it, money clip isn't even on here. I regret every moment of I know. pawning these items. I know, moment. and I don't mean to. I mean, I, I just. It, um, most times, every single article isn't valuable and meaningful. I know. Like you're saying. So either it's not that valuable and meaningful or you're, it's just not worth it to keep running your business. Yeah. Um, you I know. had to pay the rent. I have a daughter. Yeah. And I know I had hoped to get more that day, and I didn't, and it, I should have known, and I regret it every single day. A gold bracelet, irreplaceable, given as a gift from my stepfather when he adopted me. Wow. I was with my... Uh, ex-husband when we bought the wedding ring I know that was about three hundred dollars and I bought I my... noticed you didn't write anything about how meaningful that one was yeah right I'm divorced <laughs> <laughs> but the, you know what the meaning is that they were gonna go to my daughter and yeah. they're not now and, yeah. I, and there's no way I can replace that great okay I'm uh, I'm finding in your favor in the amount of three thousand five hundred dollars verdict for the plaintiff good luck thank you So the plaintiff gets a judgment for $3,500. I'm really interested in something. Uh, David and Cindy have just come out. Sure. Do you think the value of those rings would have been 
$3,500. You gave, you gave, you gave her 300 bucks for Correct. pawning that. W would that have been about right? Somebody pawned value, something worth 3000 that you'd only get 300 for it? No. We don't think the value was that much. You don't? No. Well, the interesting thing is, obviously, you didn't do the right thing. Somebody in your shop didn't do the Correct. wrong thing, and that Correct. hurt you here. You're right. We learned a lesson. Y you sure did. You sure did. A valuable lesson. So she's going to get back $3,500. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. You must sign some Thank documents you. outside. All righty. Carrie Joe. You know, I know you're getting $3,500, but listening to you talk, boy, it sounds to me like those items were worth a lot more than that to you. Am I they right? They really were, yeah. I yeah, mean, a lot I of sentimental value. I dread the day I have to tell my daughter why she doesn't have those rings. No kidding. Yeah, well, I'm so sorry for you. I think everybody feels sorry for you. Thank but, you. But, hey, look, you Thank got $3,500. Yeah. All right. Good enough. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Okay. Interesting case, Harvey. Okay, Doug, a little bit of a tip. If you take something to a pawn shop and it's super expensive, at the very least, take a photo of that item and that will help you establish damages if they lose it.